Hey YouTube, I'm gonna do a video of all the boxes that I have. Now all these boxes mean something to me in a certain way, and I'm just gonna show you. Nintendo, not this was Nintendo's first handheld that had a flip screen, as you can see. Before it, they had the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Um, this was backwards compatible with Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, which is awesome. And this was the first flip screen, like I said. Now that's kind of cool. Next is the Mario Edition DSi XL. Now. I want to show you some that's very special right here. Here's the box that had that was in it. Right there. Here's the box that was in it. And the best part I'm gonna get. A factory sealed Mario Kart DS. Now the reason I never opened it up from it is because I already had a Mario Kart DS. You know, this, it didn't say display only on it. it. didn't say not for retail. This was a game that looks like that you'd buy in a store. So this is pretty cool. Get that away. I'll put that away later. Next one I'm supposed to do is the Wii Box. This is the box for my Nintendo Wii. This is came with Wii Sports. We got it like the year it came out. It's the back of it. Well, I actually that might have been the back, but who knows? Wii Sports, tennis, bowling, golf, baseball, boxing, and yeah. I'll uh, just take this. This was a DS game. That had its own little box here, like a bare box. This is for Pokemon Platinum. Came with a carrying case and a Giratina figure. This right here is my favorite box of all. This means the most to me right here. This is the Mario Kart Double Dash bonus set. Came with a Platinum GameCube with two controllers. It came with Mario Kart Double Dash. This was the first game system that I ever owned. And Mario Kart was the first game that I've ever played. Next we have the DSi box. It's a black DSi. Still got the price tag on it, but box is a little weird, but it's, it's fine. It's good. Just the back shows all this. Shows the new features that they've added since the other DS. Next, it's another Pokemon thing. Now, uh, Pokemon Soul Silver came with the Poke Walker and a Lugia figure. Came with a Jack for the Poke Walker too. Came with the game, and that's the back. This. Is a Wii remote thing. It might have been with the Wii. I don't know. I really didn't check. This is the box for the Mario Edition DS, the original DS. This was, um, this came with Mario Kart DS, and this is the first DS I owned. That's why the other one is factory sealed because I already had it. Next one is. Well, we're going ahead in time now. A Nintendo 3DS Mario Edition. Super Mario 3D Land came with it. Not a bad game. Um, now we're going back in time. The Mario Edition DS Lite. Man, all my DSs are Mario Edition except the DSi. Came with Super Mario Bros. Um, it had the M on it. Which can be, could be kind of rare. And next, got all this stuff here. We've got another DS game. 
it was Guitar Hero on tour decades. What the box was for, it was because it had, it was only compatible with the DS and DS Lite. Because, you know how on Guitar Hero for like the Wii and PS and PlayStation, um, it had a guitar that you'd push the buttons on and strum. Well, the DS version had frets on it too. You had to plug them into the Game Boy slot on the DS or DS Lite. And, um, so that's why that's only compatible with those two. Next, we have the Wii Classic Controller, which is used to play downloadable content from the Wii store, or Wii shop. We've got, oh my god, this is the biggest, this is the worst thing that I own. The 3DS Racing Wheel. Should I go grab it? I'm gonna, it's right here. I may as well. This is the 3DS racing wheel. You know how the Wii had a wheel? You put the Wii remote in so you can play like Mario Kart and racing games. And this was the 3DS's version. You clip the 3DS in. It's got buttons right here so you can still push L and R. But the thing is with racing games, the 3DS wasn't motion sensitive. So I'd be going like this with it, and it's not turning. So it's really no purpose for that whatsoever. Uh, this was Mario Kart Wii. The big box Mario Kart Wii. Came with a Wii wheel. Might have came with two, I don't know. Does it say? Uh, no. But, um, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, after the Wii... In, during the Wii's lifespan, I think they made ended up making Mario Kart Wii comboed with the Wii. So if you didn't have Mario Kart Wii, if you didn't get it with your Wii, then this is what you get with the racing wheel. And last but not least, we have a box for a Wii game called Wild West Shootout. Wild West Shootout was a another shoot. It was a shooting game. Two pairs of 3D glasses inside. They both sucked. I'm sorry, but they did. A uh, 20 inch blaster. And that's what the blaster looked like. And man, is that a pain in the ass to set up. But, um. Came with the, sh the gun. And it came with the game. But the game. You know how if you would buy a Wii and it came with Wii Sports, it wouldn't come in an actual game case. It would just come out in a weird foldy thing. That's how this was, too. And, like, this was uh, this is false advertisement. It made it say that it actually came with the case. It didn't. But, anyway, it's pretty good. So, that's my box collection. I mean, that's all Nintendo. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy.